Maybe. In your life. Hey, everybody. It's Waterbox Wednesday. Um, it's been a long time. I think yeah. we had to, like, you yes. know, flick on some we had lights. To dust off the uh, <laughs> table just a little bit because it's Everything been a while since back. we've been in the uh, studio. Yeah, you've been, uh, been like three to four weeks that we have not done a live, and it's I've missed it. It's, so I'm really happy, it's really, very really happy wrong. to be it's back. Very wrong. It's not natural at all. But we've been really busy. Yes. So, needless to say, there's a reason why we've been kind of MI on the live show. And we just got back this week from the family, family reunion, reunion we've which been, we've been yeah. talking about forever. Six months. Six months, yeah, and it happened this weekend in the Keys. So we're gonna kind of go over all that happened, mm -hmm. um, show you some cool stuff um, that we did there. We got raffle winners for the online raffle of the large aquariums. Uh, lots of stuff to go over and talk yeah. about. Yeah, so guys, if you don't know already, we, we had a big raffle going on for the reunion. We were able to raise almost $10,000. Um, Keenan, you want to pull that up there so we can kind of show them the... Uh, right into it. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot, our right in. Forgot our intro. Forgot our intro. We've got to get the groove going here a little bit again. We're, we're been so long. We're a complete mess here. <laughs> All right, intro. <laughs> We, we got, got the figured intro. Out. <laughs> this is Jess. I'm Richard. We're live on YouTube and Facebook, Where you guys. I? Where are we? I have no subscribe idea. On YouTube. Yeah, subscribe, <laughs> like on YouTube, uh, like us on Facebook, all that good stuff. Again, so we're talking about the family reunion. We raised over ten, almost ten thousand uh, dollars for the Coral Restoration Foundation. If you don't know what the Coral Restoration Foundation is, there you can see the total. That total that you're seeing there doesn't actually include. <clears throat> the on-site raffle that we did. So we raised over $1,000 just on the on-site raffle. So it's going to a great cause. Even if you didn't win these raffle prizes, you, you sent it to an amazing cause. So Yeah, so even though a lot of people um, were doing the raffle on-site purely just for the fact that it is going to such a great cause. Um, we had a lot of people that were doing the raffle, even though they weren't mm -hmm. from local, giving away their prizes and everything just because they wanted to support the Coral Restoration Fund. So it was a really good time. Thank you so much to our sponsors that gave items for the raffle so that we could raise this money for Coral Restoration. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, it's such a, a great uh, foundation. I've wanted to do this actually for a long time. I'm happy that it worked out this way. Um, these guys are down in the Keys. They're actually in the Keys restoring the reefs in the Florida Keys. So. It's a great uh, foundation. Again, if you don't know who they are, head over to coralrestoration.org and you can learn a little bit more about them. Yes. And Jess, we had almost 200 people join us down in the Florida Keys. We did. It was a great turnout. We had um, people, I mean, we had a couple come down from Canada. All the way we from Canada. had like Chicago, I think we had some Indiana, I mean, all the way from Rhode Island. We had people from all over yeah, come down for the family hard. reunion. Waterbox family. Yes. <laughs> everyone had a great, great time. Um, there were so many um, wonderful speakers there. A lot of education um, with the raffles. We had mm -hmm. um, Kelly from Wild, she was live painting on site. That was amazing. That was such a great addition to, to the show. Mm -hmm. We had the uh, Florida Keys School. They even brought some clownfish that they've aquacultured. Uh, just so much variety and different things to do, and it was a beautiful setting, and everyone really had a great time at the resort. Yeah. So there were dolphins to swim with, I mean, yes. all that fun stuff. I actually did the dolphins with my kids, they loved it. We got, we didn't actually get in the water with them, but we did the whole feeding, and you can do like the hand signals and stuff. And Who doesn't love dolphins? Yeah, like, everyone loves Evan dolphins. Kept, <laughs> Evan kept grabbing the food and throwing it out into the water, <laughs> and the <laughs> trainer's like, no, don't do that, you're confusing them, this isn't part of the show. <laughs> So, I do it, a uh, it was a lot of fun. He doesn't really, he, he has trouble listening sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he's a child, you know. Yeah, he's five, he's it's all five. good, right? He's five, it happens. Jess, uh, let's talk about some of these speakers. Okay, yeah, so I would say some of our highlights of our favorite ones, and um, I mean, we went all day with speakers on Saturday that um, Roxanne from Coral Restoration. Yeah, back on the Coral Restoration. That was an amazing, so... If they don't know, if you guys don't know already, all of these talks are live on YouTube. So yeah. we recorded all this. We went live the whole day. So you can go check out Roxanne's 
uh, talk about restoring the reefs here in Florida. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've followed for a long time the restoration, um, you know, efforts that are being done to help, you know, get our reefs back on track. But she went yeah. into such more depth and told us, you know, there's so much great information, seeing how they do it. Um, the variety that they got going on there, some, you know, we're trying to come up with hybrids and stuff like that. Yeah. It was really, really awesome to um, get a little bit more in-depth learning from it. And yeah. I found out, too, that you can actually go and dive with them and help them yeah. put corals and stuff on the reef if you're certified, which is really awesome. What better reason to go down to, you know, Florida and the Keys and scuba dive than put some corals yeah. back on the reef. So I thought that was really awesome. Uh, actually, there's a video on YouTube, and you can look it up, where Ecotech Marine actually went down there and they transplanted some of the corals with them. Um, and they're all grown in the wild from these what they call trees. Um, and again, if you go and you watch that video that uh, we have of Roxanne. It was so at, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Really neat. And then, of course, um, we had um, Jay and Pat, and they introduced Mobius and yeah, that, gave insight to the new platform that they're coming out. Yeah. So a lot of people had not seen anything about that I had yet. hardly seen anything. Yeah. i got to admit, it's really neat. Uh, it's a really great platform. It's going to really revolutionize the way you guys control aquariums. It's like taking the controller away and mm -hmm. utilizing the uh, app more so than some sort of... Uh, mechanism that you plug everything into. Yeah, yeah. It's um, a lot of cool stuff coming from them, but you can actually see a pretty good um, detail and information and I'll to them showing you how it works together on some of the tanks at the office mm -hmm. of Ecotech and AI um, and really see what's happening with this Mobius platform that's coming. Yep. Love it. And then we had Dr. Hannah, how do you say the last name? Koch. Koch? Koch? Right. I believe so. Yeah. Sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that. But uh, yeah, no, excellent. She's from the uh, Moat Marine Laboratory talking about uh, reproduction of corals. So that's a really cool talk. That was really neat. Um, learned a lot from that one just as far as like because they are trying to get the wild reefs to reproduce so that they can actually bring it then into the nursery and grow them to start putting them back on the reefs. And just how selective the breeding time is um, for them to spawn each year. There's like a three day window. Uh, um, and it's not always the three days that you think it is. And they're learning like new corals that they put out there that started from bringing um, the spawning in, raising them in nursery, and then eventually putting them back out. It actually changes what spawn time they are. Um, so it's very cool of like how much work actually goes in there to try and get the spawn, to raise it in captivity, to then put it back into the That's ocean. That's quite a bit different than. It's a little different than what uh, the coral restoration is doing because they're actually bringing the corals to a facility. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. And and they do a lot of work there, whereas coral restoration is all done out in the ocean in the wild. Yeah, they're actually bringing it into like nurseries, raise, getting to spawn, getting in different generations, and actually like they're you know uh, crossing some different corals and just seeing what spots take best to it. Um, definitely more detailed stuff than you'd usually hear from on that. So. Peter Cherick from Reef News Network was our MC for the whole show. He was, so, the, he was awesome. Yes, yes, he's so great. That's why we brought him out because he's so good at what he does. And actually, he's in the chat right now. And he said it's K uh, Cook is the oh, last name. Sweet. And it's German. Sorry, Peter. Yes, sorry. Yeah, sorry, Hannah. Sorry, Peter. We <laughs> butchered that a little bit. Oh, yeah. He said it's German. So, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, but he did great. He was MC for the whole event. Introducing all of the speakers, he did the raffle. Like he really just kept it moving. Yeah. Um, we thank him so much for coming out there and doing all that work for us too. So that was day one. Um, we also had Jake Adams and Chris Meckley talking, mm -hmm. David and Scott Crow, uh, Jeff Turner, tons of people on that first day. And then on uh, second day, Joe Caparata. Yeah, that had was a one great of my speeches. One you. of my favorite uh, talks there. Um, such a good story because he's got one of the most iconic stores in the country. He's also a huge water box dealer, mm -hmm. so I might be a little biased. I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, great, great talk there. If you want to learn about Joe and his history, he's, he's uh, got a ton of businesses in the aquatics industry, so definitely go check that one out. And um, then we had Aquapros. Yeah. So it, <laughs> it's funny. We didn't intentionally put Aquapros last. We weren't. Putting fresh Not water. Not according to him. Um, <laughs> if you ask Aquapros, he's like, great, just put the freshwater guy last. Yeah. Um, but he had a great speech on the different types of scaping in mm -hmm. freshwater aquariums and just like different materials that you use, different plants. And he gave a lot of nice pictures and representation of those different forms. Yeah. Um, and also some like he's doing like a CO2, non-CO2 experiment that he's tracking on mm -hmm. his page. Um, and it's nice to see that side of the freshwater because it doesn't get as much attention. 
yeah. as the salt water does. Yeah. You know Sorry, what's, Aquaphone. What's funny <laughs> is uh, I, it took a little convincing to get Mike to uh, do a talk. He stands in front of a quarter million people on YouTube, but it took a little bit of convincing to get him in front of about 100 people on a stage. So it's kind of funny the way that works. But He's he, natural he once he does it. it but he, he did. did. He it was, was so great. natural. He killed it up there. So it's good. Um, and I think we have a little recap video, do we not? We do. So you guys check this out. We have a bunch of uh, photos here and of all the festivities and fun and everything. So. Yeah. a small representation of who was there, everything mm -hmm. we did, um, and how beautiful the location was. But everyone had a blast, uh, learned a lot, got to meet and talk to all the great sponsors and vendors and mm -hmm. all the people that came down that are part of the Waterbox family. Uh, so the video just shows a teeny tiny bit yeah, of the fun, and we were there for days. Smidgen, so. A smidgen of what, we, what went on at that crazy event, that crazy idea that I think turned out fantastic. <laughs> turned out great. Like yeah. I said, everyone had a great time. And one of the highlights that everyone's kind of been talking about is the online raffle that we did to benefit Coral Restoration. So we worked with um, setting up this raffle so that all the proceeds went to Coral Restoration Foundation and we raffled off two large tanks. Yep. So it'd be two winners. Um, and we did for the first one, it was the Reef 130.4 plus edition. Bring it on up. Yeah. <laughs> So we, we did two, two, yeah, four foot tanks. That's, the four foot range is always our most popular. So we did the 130.4 plus edition. Yeah, so this one is it's over a $3,000 tank. And um, the 130.4 is definitely one of our most popular models on the saltwater line. It's the four foot version, four by 24. You know, of course, all water box, full star fire glass. You've got the, um, this is with the UV cabinet. They get to choose black or white with this one. Mm -hmm. Plus edition meaning you got the hydras on there, the Hydra 32s, you know, dual overflow nozzles, uh, glass overflow box, all the great features of a water box. Uh, we have one lucky person win this one. And then for our freshwater side, because we do love freshwater just as much as salt water, uh, we had our 4820 clear plus edition. And this one here, there's the oak or beige cabinet. And same thing, Starfire glass, it is four foot, by 20 inches, and this one has the freshwater primes and uh, goosenecks on this one that someone uh, has won as well. Yep, so big. Big prizes. Yeah, yeah, beautiful tanks, amazing setups, and, and those are going to two lucky winners today. Yes, yes, and I think we have their names. We do, and I think, I'm, I think there may be one of them in here in the stream. Right <laughs> I believe there is, so an email notification did go out on these, so. Um, not necessarily as big of a surprise, but we do have the announcers do salt water first. Sure. All right. So our salt water winner for this is Sean Beaver, and he is actually in. Congratulations, he Sean. Is in our stream right now on Facebook. So everyone, say congrats to him. Lucky guy gets a Reef 130 Plus edition. I think he's in. Do you remember what city? Colorado Springs. Is that Sean or is that okay? Either way, congratulations, Sean. Says, I Sean. am in the stream. <laughs> we have Kate Tell watching. Tell me if I'm right. I think it was Colorado Springs, but uh, that's amazing. Congratulations, Sean. This is our number one water box system right here. Yes. And it's coming to you free of charge. Can't wait to see what you do with it. Mm -hmm. um, and then for fresh water for the 4820 Clear Plus Edition, winner is Echo Rodeski. All right. Congratulations, Yay. my friend. I don't know if he's in here or not but if you are you know give a shout out give a shout out Otherwise, and thank you guys for your we'll donations yeah you know you win a great tank and your money went to a great cause yeah and for everyone who didn't win i know we always want to win but everything that you don't you know you did for the raffle um is going straight to coral restoration so it's for a great cause and you can still get yourself a water box anytime you want um <clears throat> so uh I've gotten this question a lot, and I can't quite answer it just yet, so you guys are just going to have to stay tuned, but Kenneth Brown's asking, and we're going to do it again next year. 
I can't answer that. To, to be determined. TBD. 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 We have no <laughs> idea. Um, we're just recovering from this one and kind of getting caught back up. We're looking forward to getting back into doing our weekly live, getting back. I mean, we've got every Wednesday figured out. Um, so we don't plan to be skipping any more of those. So we're here with you mm -hmm. um, back on our regular schedule for the Wednesday shows. Yes. Yeah, so every Wednesday at 6 p.m., Facebook and YouTube. Don't forget about it. Um, we got a bunch of people in here with us. Andrew said you should. It was a blast. So no. he's voting for a family reunion again. I don't think Next I've had year. anybody vote no. No, that's true. Oh, and Sean Bieber says he is in Colorado Springs. Okay, so cool. We're so we were correct on that one. The other gentleman was in Florida. Oh. Uh, we got fishing. I cannot read that. <laughs> Must be a YouTube got, name. Yes. I love trying to read the new YouTube names because I'm like, I don't know what it says. Uh, we got Ben Wascom in here with us who just got a custom water box. He was that, with us all and, weekend. Yep, got custom and he has the new Frag uh, 105.4. Oh, nice. Does so, he ever get that one? Yep, he got that nice, one. Nice. So he is uh, all in on water box. He's going to be busy setting up his um, big old custom one and his Frag tank. And he was at the family reunion, had a blast. Mm -hmm. We got Reefing Community Worldwide. We got Anthony with us who said he just received his water box Pro 180. Oh, yeah. Loves it. You guys are great. Thank you. Aww. Um, any questions? Any questions are If you got any on? questions, throw them in here. Uh, catfish and Bassing. <laughs> Gotta love the YouTube names. <laughs> catfish <laughs> and Bassing. Definitely should. I loved it. So, um, again, thank you guys. So. It was a great show. We, we were able to raise a lot of money for a great cause. Yeah. And have some fun. And we are going to be here and back with you next week. To, um, and next Wednesday, we're going to go over um, feeding fish. Yep. Like different ways you can, um, how much, you know, also going over a little bit of like fish nutrition. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing that on the Dream Build, the 220 out in the lobby. So we will yep. see you next week. Thank you, guys. See ya.